Hello and welcome to Democracy 101 in 5. I am Cynthia Mbamalu. This show is designed to enrich your knowledge of democratic processes. It is also about how to make democracy work for you. Democracy 101 in 5 is an initiative of Yaga Africa with the support of the FCDO. What are the roles and functions of the Federal Executive Council? We got answers from some Nigerians. Since we bring the price of the um, price of goods and other things down, to me they have to reduce the fuel, fuel, then to the road and some other things that they need to do. The functions of our president is to help us to see how things are working better, things are working perfectly for all of us. Without ambiguity, the FEC is simply the cabinet of ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and is part of the executive branch of government. The Federal Executive Council of FEC is a vital component of Nigeria's government structure, governed by sections 147 of the 1999 Constitution the body plays a crucial role in the executive arm of our government. Here is why. Section 147 outlines the establishment of the Office of Ministers of the Government of the Federation by the President. But it is not just a matter of, of establishment. There are checks and balances to this power. Accordingly, any appointment to the office of the minister made by the president must be confirmed by the Senate. This ensures accountability and oversight. The president must appoint at least one minister from each state ensuring representation across the nation. And here is an interesting twist. Where a member of the National Assembly or the House of Assembly is appointed as minister, he or she must have completed his or her tenure or resigned from the National Assembly or House of Assembly before taking up such a position. This prevents conflicts of interest. An appointment as minister is confirmed if there is no pushback from the Senate after 21 days. No person shall be appointed as minister except he or she is qualified for election as a member of the House of Representatives. Once appointed, ministers must declare their assets and liabilities and take an oath of allegiance before assuming office. Transparency is key in maintaining public trust. Now, let's talk about responsibilities. Ministers have a wide range of duties from administering government departments to advising the president on policy matters. The president may, at his discretion, assign duties to ministers to administer departments of government or any business of the federation. Currently, Nigeria has 48 ministers. The Federal Executive Council meets weekly to discuss and make decisions on domestic and foreign policies ensuring coordination and coherence in governance. And that's Democracy 101 in 5. Let's get your feedback. You can reach us on social media platforms via at Yaga. You can also watch this episode and other episodes on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash atiaga1. Thank you for watching. I am Cynthia Mbamalu. Remember, democracy thrives on transparency, accountability, and active participation. Join us next time for more insights on Democracy 101 and 5. Until then, goodbye for now.